Hey everyone, welcome back for another Tuesday Tech Tip. Uh, today I want to show you a website. Uh, the website is called Book Widgets. Uh, it's bookwidgets.com. And uh, basically what this site does is uh, you can create widgets, uh, multiple different widgets that you can share out with your students. Uh, so let me show you what, I'm, uh, what I mean here. So let me jump in and uh, here are some different widgets, some different ideas that you can, you can create for your students and then share those, uh, share those out. Uh, there's an exit slip, flashcards, quizzes. Uh, some of the other cool ones that I was looking at, you have the bingo card, uh, you have crossword puzzles. You can create all of these things inside of this app, inside of this app. Uh, so exit slip, uh, that one I can see this uh, this website really working well for. Uh, so I'm going to show you that one right now. So if you click the app, uh, this is what pops up. So you can title it. Uh, so we'll just we'll keep it as exit slip and uh, feedback question number one. Uh, so it's uh, the default. It says, did you understand today's lesson? Uh, you also have what were the main points of today's lesson? You can change that to uh, honestly whatever you want. So it's catered to uh, your specific lesson that you're teaching uh, during that class. Uh, you uh, your email is in there as well. And I can name this, too. So I will say uh, exit slip and I'll just put in uh, the date as well. So now that that is all set, you can click get shareable link. And this works the same way for all of those uh, all of those widgets in the site that you can create. Uh, it's getting the shareable link. Notice what pops up. You have the link so you can share that out with kids. Or if you already have a Google Classroom created, you can click on send to Google Classroom. It will automatically take this exit ticket and stick it in there so the kids can easily uh, snag that. There's the QR code as well. And there's also a, uh, a code. So if you just want to have kids go to the book widget website, uh, you could share the code with them and they could get it this way as well. Now, let me show you what this looks like on the on the student end. So I'm going to open up a new tab. I am just going to paste in that link. And this widget that you just created, uh, the question number one, question number two are both here. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and type in some text. I'm going to submit. Notice that it does say there is a class ID, so it's super secure, so you can give them that class ID. Uh, and then also that uh, the student name is going in there as well. That way you can get all the reports back and you can see how kids uh, understood the material, the content that you taught for that day. So once again, uh, heading back over here, uh, I'm going to go back to the widgets and just show you some of the other ideas inside of here. I'm not going to go through all of these. Uh, but it would be create new widget and then you have a bunch of different options there uh, to create these widgets for for your students and they're catered to your subject areas as well. So I hope that's helpful. The website is bookwidgets.com. Uh, you can definitely check that out and I hope it uh, helps you out a bit. All right, we'll see you next Tuesday. Thanks.